Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep. You know it, it's time to do it, it's time to get deeper. That's what Caterpillar said, because, you guessed it, the grenade didn't go off. Yes, we went to all the trouble of throwing a grenade down the chute like we should, and it didn't go off. What an annoying problem. Isn't that annoying? I know. We're all looking at Dream Priest- I almost said Priestess. Um, I keep doing that, man. Dream Nightess so many times, and it's just not working. Disappoint. 10-6. This mission should have been over ages ago. Okay. Come on, Caterpillar. Probably a grenade while you're at it. Cool. As for Dream Night S. It's good to know there's nothing there. Um, slowly walk over here. Come on. Thank you. So far so good. Turn eight. Come on, Caterpillar. Dream Night S. Everyone's almost there. Come on, we can do it. Apologies, by the way, for all of the relative lack of uploads over the last week. Getting sick and getting full on with real life doesn't help, but we are back in business, as previously mentioned. We can now drop this grenade. There's the other one. Didn't go off, did it? No. Alright, Caterpillar. Time to leave. Properly this time. Yay! The original Sonic Pulsar still there! But we have finally destroyed the Synonium device and did it properly this time. Yay. Now all we need to do is bring our good friend Caterpillar back to the entrance and then we can call this mission done. Deceased, no longer with us. Okay. Can you do it in one turn, Caterpillar? Yes you can. Well, ding ding ding! Woo! Control! Alien control center destroyed. Alien colony destroyed. We killed 18 aliens. We recovered one corpse. That must be that, um, a corpse we carried with us or something. And we destroyed an alien colony control with an excellent score of 870. We also have two promotions. The White Rabbit and the March Hare climbing the ranks to Ensign. And of course we don't have enough equipment to fully rearm the squad. We need to do some more manufacture immediately. And you guessed it, full pump disruptor pulse launcher ammunition. I know some people have suggested that I just salvage a few more pieces en route, but that's not really practical at times. Okay. We also need to sell some more junk. Money really isn't a problem. We could actually easily do without the United Nations funding, let's be honest. You know, the, their funding is no longer really an issue. But hey, we can sell our biodrone corpses and all that. We don't need that many heavy thermic lances or viro blades. Oh, I'll keep the lances, why not? Um, stacks of sonic pulses, man. Oh, we suddenly have a lot of cannon power clips. That's good. We're just low on cannons. That's not so good, but hey, we're getting there. 
Zerbite. Everything else is good. Oh, we're out of chemical tasers and flares. That's what we did. Okay. Purchase some additional chemical flares and thermal tasers. We actually don't even use them that much anymore. Cool. Alright, so here we are. It's halfway through May. The, let's look at the graphs. The score is sitting in a lovely minus... 700. Oh, it's more 800, really. Not enough! It's just not good enough, XCOM. We need to claw ourselves up back to, to nil. Nil is where we want to be. That score of 7 we had there, that was a good score. But we cannot do with a second month down here. Not good enough. So as much as it was a great uplift, we need to keep having that facelift happening. It is time to return to the graphs then and discover where are these aliens hiding? Not XCOM activity. This is XCOM activity. Apparently we had negative activity in the North Pacific. Negative activi activity in the North Atlantic. Nothing in Africa. Alright, but how about alien activity? Indian Ocean is huge! Okay, North Sea? Kind of gone down a bit. We have kind of taken out the base there. Taken out the, the Caribbean. Which leaves us with all these very tiny ones. Okay, Africa is not an issue. North America is not an issue. Um, Eurasia not an issue. Arctic is. Antarctic is as well. Sea of Japan? Not really an issue at the moment. Indian Ocean, huge. South China Sea has dropped off. Mediterranean, there's a little bit in the Mediterranean. South Pacific is there. North Pacific, not an issue. South Atlantic. It's... I can't really tell. Alright, so, but any of these could be an issue. I'm going to send people out to the Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean is there, that's what we have such a huge score penalty. You also have South Pacific and the Mediterranean. So, Mediterranean, if you can get that far. Because the problem is, is we need to make another base attack. The problem is, is we can't fight, we don't know where any are. That doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. I'm just going to keep sending it barracudas out. Until we have an issue where we can actually get some more things. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I have had a few requests for additional people to come back from the grave and fight for XCOM. It might happen. At this stage, it won't happen because we need to find more people. It's just the game trolling, isn't it? Follow it. Every time I send out barracudas to do detection duty, they always have a detected emission right afterwards. How long are you going to take? 31%. 28 seconds, okay. It's gonna take a while. Just follow it. You redetected it. Good. Keep following it. Have to get a bit aggressive when it comes to interception. How are we doing? It's ready! Yay! Intercept it! Do it! Barracudas! Keep standing off! Huh. And, um, you could just keep standing off, Triton. No, you could do an aggressive attack! Aggressive! Aggressive! That's down, anyway. Be aggressive, Triton! Be aggressive! Go up the nose! Go nasal! Okay. It's time to do this alien crash site. What we'll do is I'll do all the equipping of it uh, off screen. And when we come back, we'll be in XCOM. Let's play Terror from the Deep.